Hey y'all, it's Brother Adam. It's time to gear up and let's dive deep in the Word of God. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Know that God loves you. Now, during these video sessions, we're going to be a little bit more laid back than we are in Breaking the Field and kind of do more of a Bible study session. So, with that in mind, uh, we're going to go through Exploring God's Word. Now, Exploring God's Word is a home Bible study by Word of Flame Ministries. Uh, it is a wonderful, uh, in my opinion, Bible study. It, uh, it, it kind of calculates the Bible as a whole uh, and kind of breaks it down in a very small increments. So it's easier to digest, uh, but because we're doing YouTube, we're going to be even smaller. So with that being said, uh, the Exploring God's Word has two uh, scriptures on it. It says in Acts 16 and 32, And they spake unto him the word of the Lord and all that were in the house. In Acts 17 and 11, they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily. Okay, so that was something that uh, the, apost uh, the, uh, the apostles taught to the original uh, congregation. That they search the scriptures daily. Uh, that was something that was given to them. So we're going to go into the introduction to the Old Testament. Yay! So the introduction to the Old Testament, the beginning part is the time periods. Okay, so time periods, what are they? Time periods are dispensations. Uh, is something that is uh, a series of events that occur in a length of time. So with that being said, this... Uh, the beginning part of this Bible study breaks it up into four parts. That is innocence, conscience, the patriarchs, and the law and the prophets. Okay. All right. Uh, the first one that we're going to talk about today is innocence. All right. Innocence uh, basically is the extent of the creation of man and the world and the sky and the sea and the everything. Just everything. Everything that God created. That's what innocence is about. The, the beginning of the man and his wife and the tilling of the ground and the, the, the mist falling on the ground and it yielding its strength unto the man and his wife and all the animals coming to be and Adam naming them and so on and so forth all the way to the time where the tree comes and there uh, from this time the length of time is kind of unknown there are a couple of theories about how long it would be some say a thousand years some say less uh, some say more uh, that's just one of those time periods that we don't know uh, the Bible says uh, that a day unto the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is unto the Lord. So it could be possible that the creation week was, uh, you know, 6,000 years. It could be longer than that. We don't know. We weren't there. Uh, the only person that was there was God. So that being said, innocence in a nutshell is just the creation of everything and the innocence that was in man's mind when he was created. Because the Bible says that uh, a man was with his wife and they were naked and they were not ashamed. Uh, not that carnal naked, but the nakedness that is their unification together. They were not ashamed of that because they were innocent. They were pure. And until sin entered into the world, that's just the way it was. Innocence. Next up on our list is conscience. Now what this is, is the experience and uh, the span of time uh, from the fall of man unto Abraham. So what that means is, is this is the time after the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve have sinned. They have created sin in the world. Their eyes have been opened. They see what sin actually is. And then it kind of transverse. It goes through their lives. It goes through their kids' lives. It goes through their kids' kids' lives. It goes through all of this genealogical stuff that a lot of people, including myself, don't like to go. Uh, you know, it's one of those things like you're in a French uh, uh, bread store because it's like this person beget that person and this person beget that person. It's like beget, 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 beget all the time. And it's like, oh. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's three to four places 
uh, in this in the Bible uh, that go into that and you know it's a little bit of a, of a tough trek to go through but I encourage you to read it for yourselves because you see how some people in the Bible were used in mighty ways and where their genealogical uh, heritage comes from it's kind of neat uh, especially when you get closer to when Jesus comes you see who the lineage comes through and how he came from the line of David uh, and you know so on and so forth and it's really neat watching it transpire that way so I encourage you even though it's a little bit of a mouthful and hard to chew sometimes uh, it's a really good thing but that's what conscience is it goes from the fall of man all the way to Abraham when he was Abram out in the land and God came to him and uh, told him to leave his family and go off on his own and that's you know the transpire of conscience is, is man finally realizing what sin is and finally realizing that God is the only one that can assist with the destruction of sin. Conscience. The patriarchs. That's what's up next. It's the time between Abraham and Moses. The patriarchs in this time reaches from these two points because we see many mighty people in God rise and fall throughout the generations and years and their lifespans and how God used them in situations and how God corrected their mistakes and changed who they were and gave them abilities that were already inside them but kind of just reawoken their mind and what they could actually do. And it's really cool watching the patriarchs because when you finally go into detail about it, it, it it's just it's just absolutely amazing seeing how this entire universe that we have and all of its glory and every star and every sun and every big giant animal and, and everything in the world and God chooses to spend time with us. We're probably not even that big. Okay? But God still loves us. God still wants to be with us. And it's proven time and time again with the patriarchs. You see these people that God has chosen. It's kind of like a chess game. He's sitting there and he's moving these people around. And the whole scripture is like that. The Bible says that the whole world was inspired by God. That's why it's not just a book that a bunch of men written. It was actually inspired by God. So this is God's word. So we actually go into the detail about how all these people that God used in mighty ways was just amazing. Seeing how they, they uh, did some of the things that you wouldn't even think about. Uh, the armies that they went up against. The trials that they faced. Sometimes uh, some of these patriarchs, their own families turned their back on them. And they ended up in destitute and ruin. And then God came into their lives and changed it miraculously. So that's why it's good to read the patriarchs to kind of bolster your faith. So that's what we're going to get into later on in the, uh, uh, in the uh, Bible study. Patriarchs. And finally, we have the laws and the prophets. This goes from Moses to Christ. We see Moses' rise and fall and everything that he transpires in his life and so on and so forth. And we're back at the French bread store with baguettes everywhere till we get to Jesus Christ. And, and we see Jesus' lineage coming from this, from the laws to the prophets. We see the law that was created and everything like that, how God set a standard in the Jewish people's lives. And we see their ceremonial laws, uh, all their uh, their general laws, their foundational laws, the laws that they use to try to live a different life than the world that God gave them to be different in the world. And it goes all the way on to Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ fulfills the law. So that's why that time period kind of connects. As you see the law created and then you see the law fulfilled. And that's a cool thing. You see how it goes. Now, that being said, uh, it's a little, uh, a little, a lot to kind of go through because you're going all the way to Jesus Christ. Uh, it kind of jumps through a lot of the books of the Bible, but it's a fun ride. So let's gear up and let's try to see if we can go through all these time periods. Uh, this is part one of lesson one. So uh, we're going to go in depth in our next video about the Old Testament books, Law and Prophets. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, this is just the groundwork we're going through in the next few videos. I know it might be boring to some, uh, but you got to get through this uh, just so when you're going through the rest of the Bible study, you can go, oh yeah, that was there. That was that guy. That was that situation. That was that time period. And that's why we're doing this is to get through this 
first part. We're still on lesson one. We've got a few more videos to go before we get through lesson one. So next week's video is going to be the book of uh, a generalization of the books of the Old Testament, which I really like. Uh, it kind of goes through the description of how many authors there was, how many years in man's history, how many years it take to write the Old Testament, and what they are, big prophets, little prophets, minor, major, minor, whatever you want to say. Big and little. Whatever. Anyway, that's what's going to go into next time. So, hopefully next week with God's will and God's plan, we'll make a way and we'll see you next time. And next time we'll gear up and dive deeper in the Word of God. I hope you have a wonderful week. Know that God loves you and you're amazing. Have a great day.